Constructions. In this video, we will continue with chapter 11, and we will solve a few more examples to understand how to divide a line segment into a given ratio. Consider this example. Draw a line segment of length 7.6 cm and divide it in the ratio of 5 to 8. Measure the two parts. Let's solve this example step by step. First, take a ruler, draw a line of 7.6 cm. and label the endpoints as A and B. Next, to divide this line, we will construct a line at an acute angle. Remember, this angle should always be less than 90 degrees. Now, we need to divide this line into 13 equal parts. Why 13 equal parts? Since the ratio is 5 to 8, the total number of parts is 5 plus 8 equals 13. Take a compass. Adjust it to a certain length, and divide the inclined line into 13 equal parts as shown. After this, we will label these points as A1, A2, and so on, up to A13. Next, join point A13 with point B. After this, we need to draw a line from A5, such that it is parallel to A13, B. To do this, take a compass, adjust it to any length, and with A13 as the center, cut an arc as shown. Then, without changing the length of the compass, place it at point A5 and cut another arc. Next, adjust the compass to the distance between the two points where the arcs intersect, and use this to cut an arc on the previous arc. After this, draw a line from point A5 passing through this intersection point. Now, we have the required parallel line to line A13B. The point where this parallel line intersects line AB will divide the line into a ratio of 5 to 8. The length of one part will be 5 units, and the length of the other part will be 8 units. Now, take a ruler and measure the lengths of the two parts as shown. The length of the line segment AC will be approximately 2.9 cm, while the length of the line segment CB will be around 4.7 cm. Keep in mind that when using a ruler, these measurements might not be exact, but they are close enough for this level of accuracy. In addition to this, Make sure to write the steps involved as demonstrated. Next, we will solve this same example using an alternate method. Consider the same instructions once again. Draw a line segment of length 7.6 cm and divide it in the ratio of 5 to 8. Then, measure the two parts. To do this, take a ruler and draw a 7.6 cm line, as shown. In this method, we need to draw two lines from the endpoints of the line AB, such that both lines are inclined at the same angle but on opposite sides, as shown. Let's begin. First, draw a line at an acute angle from point A. Next, we need to draw another line making the same angle, from point B. To do this, take a compass, adjust it to some length, and place it at point A to draw an arc. Then, without changing the compass's length, place it at point B and cut an arc there as well. Next, adjust the compass between the two points where the arcs were drawn, and using that distance as the radius, draw another arc from this point. Now, draw a line from point B through this new point, creating a line that makes the same angle as the inclined line at point A. Next, since we need to divide line AB into a 5 to 8 ratio, we will divide the inclined line from point A into 5 equal parts, and the inclined line from point B into 8 equal parts. To do this, take a compass, adjust it to a specific length, and divide the line into 5 equal segments. Label these points as A1, A2, and so on, up to A5. Similarly, without changing the compass's length, 
divide the inclined line from point B into eight equal parts. and label these points as B1, B2, and so on, up to B8. Finally, draw a line connecting points A5 and B8. The point where this line intersects the original line AB will be our point C, where the line is divided in the ratio of 5 to 8. Next, we need to measure the lengths of AC and CB. Take a ruler and measure both parts. The length of AC will be approximately 2.9 cm, while the length of CB will be around 4.7 cm. You can see by both methods we can divide the line into a 5 to 8 ratio. Don't forget to include the steps as shown. I hope this video helped you understand how to divide a given line segment into specific ratios. You can apply the same method to divide any line of any length into any ratio. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, ADTW Study, don't forget to subscribe, so you can get all my latest videos as soon as I upload them. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you think.